Hello, my beautiful friends. Hi, guys. It's Eddie here, and thank you so much for going there. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here with me, you guys, for another video, and I hope that you guys are doing awesome, and I hope you guys always know how much I appreciate you guys stopping by. So before I talk about anything else today, I do want to talk to you guys about my new glasses. I don't know how many of you guys are able to tell, but I am wearing a very different pair of glasses than what, I, than what I'm usually wearing. Usually I wear like my rectangular black glasses, but um, these oversized, clear, trendy glasses were actually sent to me by Firmu, and Firmu.com is an online optical store which... Um, provides and offers very affordable eyeglasses, um, both prescription glasses and non-prescription glasses as well as sunglasses. And they have a bunch of stylish and super, super trendy glasses. And um, their mission is to basically offer these pair of glasses for a very affordable price, you guys. And when I tell you they're affordable, I don't mean they're like $100. I literally mean that their most expensive pair of glasses that you will find on their website is only $39, which is crazy. If you are someone like me that is required to wear glasses 24 seven, then you must know how expensive it can really be to go to your eye doctor place clinic and pick out a, a pair of glasses from them. It can cost you anywhere from like 100 to $500 sometimes. It is crazy. Um, so firmu.com is just super awesome because like I said, they have trendy glasses and they'll put your prescription in the in the glasses if you need the prescription and they'll only be they won't be more than $39, which is crazy. And Firmu did want me to let you guys know that if you are a new Firmu um, customer, so if you buy your very first pair of glasses um, on their website using the link down below, they will give you your first pair of glasses, you guys, for only $4.95. I'm not even kidding. It is legit. So um, they did want me to let you guys know about their latest offer, which is going on right now. And again, it will be in the link down below. And please know, you guys, that I will not be making any more money whatsoever if you do decide to buy uh, a pair of glasses from the website they just kindly sent me a pair of glasses in exchange of an honest review and for me to tell you guys about their latest offer to new customers and the website is super super easy to use you guys I mean if you are someone that has to have a prescription in their glasses all you have to do is like take a picture of um, a copy of your of your prescription and upload it to your account and they will take care of the rest you guys it is that simple or maybe if you don't have a copy of your latest um, prescription and if you just happen to know it by memory you can type it in manually which is also super awesome so it's just a super easy website to use and like I said the best part is it's extremely affordable you guys and there's a ton and ton of glasses and they're very stylish I can honestly say that I love my glasses so much they're oversized and they're clear and they're just super trendy right now and um, it is a great opportunity to buy um, a bunch of pairs like a bunch of pair of glasses for just backups glasses break all of the time you guys you guys probably know that if you like if you yourself are an eye, eye glass wearer <laughs> they break super easy so now would be a great chance to buy you know a pair as a backup I know that's what I'm gonna be doing with these bad boys because I do love my my everyday glasses but these are super super trendy and they're gonna be great to have as backup in case anything happens to my glasses so yeah you guys check out Firmu and thank you so much Firmu for sending me uh, a pair of glasses and you guys are awesome <laughs> so yeah um, now let's move on to something that I'm sure you guys have all heard about this week or like actually maybe for the past um, few months now um, so if you live in the US and in the UK you are probably very sad like myself because <laughs> Toys R Us is going to officially be closing down all of their stores I am seriously so upset so sad so heartbroken it is I just can't believe we're gonna live in a world where we're not gonna have a Toys R Us you guys I am just so sad and I thought I'd make this little video because even though it's a very sad um, time <laughs> now that Toys R Us is closing, I kind of want to look back to this video a couple years from now when Toys R Us isn't around, and I want to remember how crushed I was when Toys R Us was was or is about to close down for the first time. And so I don't know if that makes sense, but I just kind of want to remember this moment. Um, I kind of want to, even though it's a sad one, I, I want to remember what it was like when I first heard the news that um, Toys R Us was closing. Actually, Toys R Us started closing a lot of their stores um, late last year. Um, the one in my area, the one in my city didn't close um, that first time around that they were closing a bunch of the stores because I know that the Toys R Us in my area is actually very popular and um, I know for a fact that they make a lot of money. I mean, you could go to our Toys R Us and it would 
it will it would always be super busy with customers which is great it was good but now unfortunately they're um, going out of business 100 percent, and they'll be closing down their stores at least in the u.s and in the uk um and it's just so freaking sad i mean there's a lot of speculations you guys of why they're closing toys r us stores i mean there's a lot of rumors you know but it just makes me so sad to know that children like new like kids of today they really don't appreciate toys i mean all you really see with, uh, kids playing with these days are like electronics such as cell phones and tablets computers and that stuff is great you know i mean i grew up with a computer all my life as well but i always i always really appreciated my toys and i feel like toys are this type of outlet where kids can be really really happy and they'll use their imagination very well i know for a fact when i would play with my dolls and my toys i wasn't just like playing i was using my imagination and creating these stories and creating these worlds where i was able to be creative and use my imagination and you know just be super creative and unfortunately i feel like with kids only using electronics these days i don't think that they're really using their imagination as much as they should um it's just it's it's really sad um yeah it's, it's really sad and i don't and i don't know what to say um i also wanted to share with you guys um like a couple of memories of toys r us you know i I love the the Toys R Us specifically the one in my area because it's always been the the Toys R Us um, in my city. It's been like the, like that same building that is still up today has always been um, the same building um, when they first opened Toys R Us a few years ago. Um, I remember going to Toys R Us for the very first time. I believe it was in two thousand one, and I know I've told this story before. And um, I remember my older brother taking me as well as my two sisters to pick out a couple of Barbies and. I was just super overwhelmed in the good way and I was just super super happy to see how many toys Toys R Us had and I picked out my very first Barbie doll that was you know for myself like I said I've told this story before um, I picked out my first ever Barbie and I still remember who it was it was spot scene Teresa she was super beautiful I wish I still had her <laughs> and I just remember my sisters being super happy and we were picking out our toys and it was just such a good time and I loved Toys R Us all of my life, even when I, you know, obviously when I grew up and I realized that I wanted to be a doll collector, a toy collector, um, Toys R Us for me was such a, like, it was this place where I could go and escape from reality because not everybody around you is going to understand what it's like to be a collector even as an adult. So Toys R Us was that one place that we could all go to and turn to when we wanted to feel less alone and we and when we wanted to see toys and dolls and just be super happy, you know, as admirers and enthusiasts of these dolls and toys. So I just, I can't believe that we're going to live in a world where Toys R Us doesn't exist. I always pictured myself taking my children one day in the future to Toys R Us. And to think that it's going to be gone now is crazy. It is so crazy, you guys. And it's really, really sad. Like I said, I just wanted to kind of remember Toys R Us with you guys and to just look back at this video and remember how crushed I was when I heard the news that my Toys R Us was going to be closing down. I actually drove by the Toys R Us, like our Toys R Us, and I saw the huge signs on the windows that said everything must go, 30% off I think is what it said, and no holding back. It was just so freaking sad. When I, re when I saw the signs, I felt like someone punched me in the gut, you guys. It was so heartbreaking. I'm still like really upset whenever I remember that, it's, that the Toys R Us is going to be closing. I, I get this like feeling in my stomach and it's and I just get really sad <laughs> I get really really sad you guys <sighs> Toys R Us Toys R Us was also that one place where me and my best friend would always go to whenever we didn't really have much to do there isn't a lot that you can do in my city um so you know going to Toys R Us was that thing that we could always do and always have fun even if we weren't necessarily buying anything maybe we would just be walking around and talking about how we were doing my best friend lives a couple of hours away so um Toys R Us was a place that I can remember going to and catching up with my best friend and I'd be buying dolls and telling her about the latest toys, you know, being the doll nerd that I am. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I would love to know what you guys think about Toys R Us closing. Um, leave in the comments down below if you have any memories of Toys R Us and if it made you really happy and hopefully, you know, the Toys R Us people can see these videos and they can see um, 
how much of an effect their stores had and they weren't just stored to us like I said they were sort of an escape um, for us um, of all ages and uh, all toy collectors over the world all over the world so yeah so rest in peace Toys R Us I will miss you thank you for everything and I would love to know what you guys think about Toys R Us closing down um, another thing that I wanted to share with you guys is that um, if you watched my previous video, then you probably saw that my friend Fran sent me a box full of dolls and these dolls were, um, they belonged to her daughter when she was younger. Um, it was mostly filled with Bratz dolls, but excuse me, but it also had a bunch of other dolls. And I did want to show you guys two of the Bratz dolls that I recently just cleaned. So if you go back to that video and if you see how tangled and frizzy their hair was, I want you to then, to watch that video first and then come back here and see how much progress I've been making. I'm like really proud of myself, but also I've been having a blast you guys cleaning these dolls and, and straightening their hair and doing all that. And I'm going to show you guys the, the, the two recent ones that I just finished cleaning. So the first doll that I have here, this is, yes man, I believe this is a hot summer's day hot summer days or hot summer days something like that um yasmin doll and look at her hair you guys it looks brand new and her hair was super tangled but she is looking so fabulous you guys i still have to give her a pair of clothes or uh yeah you know i still have to give her an outfit so sorry about the nudity that you're about to see but i just wanted to show you guys the progress that i've been making and if you guys are interested i know a couple of you guys told me in my previous video that you'd be interested in seeing a video of how i clean my dolls and how i fix their hair um I would definitely love to do that for you guys if you guys are interested. Uh, you know, I'm not saying I'm like the best person to go to when it comes to like restoring your dolls, but um, I'd say I'm pretty proud of myself of the outcome <laughs> of of how they end, how they've been end up, how they've ended up looking. Um, so this is another Bratz doll. This is a I believe this is a sports tennis Fiona doll. Fiona, I'm not sure how you pronounce her name. I always called her Fiona as a kid. I guess I loved uh, the Shrek movies too much. But look at how silky and straight her hair is now, you guys. And if you go to the previous video, then you will see how tangled her hair was. And I am slowly but surely posting before and after pictures over on my Instagram. The link to my Instagram will be down below. It's the same as my YouTube channel, Boy Likes Dolls. If you're interested, I've already started uploading um, before and after photos over there so you guys can get a better look of what they used to look like but you can also see what they look like if you watch my previous video which is called um opening a box full of used dolls i believe i will have a link down below in case you missed it but i'm just super proud of myself you guys and ah oh, she's so beautiful i freaking love her i think she's absolutely stunning but uh, yeah, guys, I think that's it for today's video. I quickly just wanted to talk to you guys about um, Vermu because they were very kind and they sent me a um, pair of glasses to review for you guys. And they wanted to let me uh, know about um, their current deal that's going on. So click the link down below, you guys. I won't, make, I won't be making any profit. Um, I can genuinely tell you that I love these glasses so much. They're not paying me in any sort of way to say to say nice things about them. Like I said, they just sent me a pair of their glasses um, for an exchange of for an exchange of an honest review. There we go. Um, also, if I sound funny, I've been sick for like the cap bleh, the last couple of days, <laughs> um, but I'm feeling way better. I know I didn't get sick, not as much as um, other people in the house. So yes. Uh, so yeah, guys, thank you guys so much for joining me. I know, I know. As always, this video was a little bit on the pointless side but please know that i love you guys and i appreciate you guys watching and i have a very very exciting video that i'm planning right now that's coming up i'm actually going to tell you what it is so if you're so if you stayed all the way till the end you're awesome and i love you um so I'm planning on making a video about all of my American Girl dolls. I'm going to show you guys my entire American Girl doll collection. It's a small collection but I miss talking about my American Girl dolls and I was cleaning them the other day because a couple needed to be um, cleaned a little bit and um, I want to share with you guys all of my dolls, all of my American Girl dolls in my collection. I think it'll be cool to make an um, American Girl doll collection video. So if you're, if that sounds like something you'd want to watch, please let me know and let's get excited. So um, if that's not my next video, it will definitely be the video after that. Um, I'm just, you know, planning it on, on how I want to do it and stuff. But uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. A ton of more videos are coming, you guys. I'm very excited. And um, yeah, let me know what you'd like to see. I love you guys so much. And uh, Stay awesome, you guys. I'll talk to you guys next time, okay? Bye, guys.